Mariam Krivashvili is the head of Georgia's National Tourism Administration. She joins us live now from Tbilisi, Georgia. Mariam, thank you so much for being with us. So you're offering uh, people, travelers, as Georgia as a place to take a break from COVID-19, partly, partly because the infection numbers are so low. You've got a population of 10 million and only 16 deaths reportedly. So just walk us through uh, what this initiative actually is. Hello, Zine. Uh, greetings from beautiful Georgia. First of all, let me start with exciting news that from next week, we are welcoming back our partner international airlines as they are resuming regular flight operations back to Georgia. Georgia is open for business and we are open for international travelers. And the process of gradual opening, we've started hosting uh, business travelers from July, gradually international tourists. And from August, we look forward hosting every international traveler willing to leave and remotely work from Georgia. Georgia has been so far successful to fight pandemics, ranked as one of the world's safest destination. And today I'm very proud to say that it's been third time in a row since EU placed Georgia among top 15 safest destinations. And let me tell you to your question, what were top three things that Georgian government has done to reach to this point where we are confidently opening up for business again. First and foremost, uh, we followed best medical science, our doctors, our epidemiologists. Secondly, government took decisive actions. And thirdly, we had outstanding state to public cooperation, which included tight and transparent communication with our people. Our society had significant role when it comes to this important and successful fight. And I can't really say enough how people in our country contributed significantly and followed all the restrictions that government of Georgia was forced to introduce during pandemics. And that response, that responsibility, that accountability has shifted all over to tourism industry today. And that gives me full confidence to reassure every traveler that by choosing Georgia, they're not only choosing health and safety, but world's famous hospitality, which is part of our identity, the best wine or best food, mesmerizing nature, and of course, unforgettable travel experiences. Are you concerned, though, that by opening up uh, your borders to an influx of, of European travelers, that they could end up perhaps bringing the virus with them, that there could be a rise in the number of cases, especially given that Georgia has been so successful in shielding themselves from the pandemic so far? Well, firstly, I believe Georgia has uh, showcased the success story, how to fight pandemic. And that could be a reassurance to every traveler and of our citizens, too, that we will continue to be hyper vigilant to protect everyone equally in our country. Tourism has been having an important part of our economy. And to put this in perspective for you, only in 2019, with our own population of 3.7 million, we were able to host more than 9 million international travelers. Georgia aims to remain safe. And of course, we will do everything in our power to remain safety today and safety tomorrow. And that includes a decision of opening up gradually and carefully and reopening borders with those countries where epidemiological situation is under control. Of course, we hope to further expand the list of those countries as situation um, worldwide stabilizes. Georgia is well prepared to greet international guests in our country. We have well established security and health protocols. Our private sector is fully prepared and we are very happy to say that our tourism industry startup started with domestic travels and we see that situation is fully under control while our domestic travel is uh, increasing significantly so we will continue doing and implementing all the necessary measures along with our people following all the rules and restrictions to ensure that georgia remains a safe destination to travel so how do you select which countries are allowed to send travelers to georgia and which ones aren't because the countries that are COVID hotspots or the countries that have COVID under control changes from week to week, month to month, as we're seeing. Some countries that thought they had the virus under control may end up getting a second wave. So how do you select which countries come in? 
As I already mentioned, Georgian government took decisive actions and decided to open up gradually and carefully. And as I already mentioned, we're opening up with those countries where epidemiological situation is under control. And to look up for future and look farther, of course, we'll be reviewing all these decisions as time goes by. And as you know, European Union is also reviewing the list of the safest destination every 14 days. So our key priority is to preserve safety and safety of our people and safety of our travelers. And this is something that is of highest importance for Georgian government. So in terms of what travelers can expect in terms of safety protocols, how widespread uh, is testing in terms of availability in Georgia? What about mask wearing, social distancing? Are those uh, being enforced by the government at this point? Georgian government has uh, implemented actively uh, safety regulations and public health protocols. Um, we have been quite successful to increase testing capacity for everyone who needs it. Our international airports are fully equipped with international standards. Our private sector is fully prepared to greet international travelers. I would also like to highlight importance and high social responsibility of our tourism private sector, who was also the frontliner during the fight of COVID-19. Georgian government has very tight partnership with tourists, private sector, and we've engaged them, especially during the difficult times and during the pandemics. And I can even give you an example that during uh, the pandemic, we've rented up to 100 hotels and shifted their facilities into quarantine zones. And today, this project is famous as Five Star Quarantines of Georgia, which means that our private sector has experienced and implemented all these protocols, such as social distancing, and all in order to ensure that today this can be all reflected when it comes to domestic and international travel. And finally, just given that tourism makes up such a huge part of Georgia's GDP, I believe about 25 percent or so, when do you anticipate that demand will get back to normal? Well, this is an ongoing process. I can say that Georgia been ranked as one of the safest destination that keeps Georgia on top of the list of most desired travel destinations worldwide. Uh, of course, again, we aim to preserve this safety because people want to travel and people want to travel safely. Uh, with that, uh, we are having all the tangible reasons to keep our expectations quite positive. And with the safety index and with the big social responsibility coming from both society and Georgian government, I hope that we will be in the position sometime next fall to report back to you how successful we've been. All right. Mariam Kravishvili, thank you so much.